Card is one of our favorite no-code website builders, and it was featured in one of our latest videos where we talked about the top five website builders for 2024. And today we're gonna to dive in to a really cool feature on Card, just to show you how you can use this in many different ways. Now we've made a review on Card and various videos on it, so be sure to check out the playlist after you watch this video. And also go to nocode.mba to learn about how to build with no code tools. But what we're gonna do on your screen, you can see that I've got up the add element here. So with card, you get a template and then you can either use the elements that they've already embedded onto that template, or you can add your own ones. So it's things like text, image, video, audio, etc. But the one we're gonna look at today is this cool one here, which is the widget. Now, when you click on the widget, it's gonna open this here. And we can see on the left is the menu, the widget, and the type of widgets that we can use. And then also over here, it's a simple drag and drop. So we might want to move it over here, depending on what you're gonna do. So you can add the widget onto the place you wanna put it, and then drag it around later. And also know that you can duplicate it. So if it's like a button or something like that, you can make a copy of this and then drag it somewhere else too. But as you can see here, what we have a widget and it's the type of widget on a drop down menu. Now the first one, it opens a Stripe checkout payment page. So if you sell something using Stripe, you can create this widget here and then follow the different steps here and put in the relevant fields, what you want to put in here. So it's um, a pay, book, donate, subscribe, for example, is a type of payment. Um, and then you'll need to go into your Stripe account with your API keys and your secret keys in order to connect it to this. But this shows that you can take Stripe payments. Now, there's some other ones I think you might find interesting. Um, one that probably you won't is a Facebook like. Now, this was really big about 10 years ago to put Facebook likes onto your pages. Most people don't do this any longer. Now, PayPal is the one I want to look at next. It's similar to Stripe, so PayPal is a payment gateway and it says here it opens a PayPal payment page as well. So this is where you can actually put in your item number here. Um, there's all the different URLs that you can do when they complete on it. And then you'll need your merchant ID for this to work as well. And the, the next one that we have is Gumroad. Now Gumroad is really interesting because it's a payment gateway, but it also hosts files for you and it has a really cool pop-up feature. We'll just go over to Gumroad now just to show you what this is like. So here we are on the Gumroad page. Now we made a review of Gumroad recently and we compared it to Shopify. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But the idea here is that you're going to sell on Gumroad products. This could be um, streaming products. It could be video products. It could be PDFs. It could be anything really. So it's a way for you to easily start selling things online. And it says here, instead of selling a book, start by selling a blog post. So the idea that they want to really get across here is that you can start selling anything and start selling small. Now, one of the benefits of Gumroad is shown you here where you can embed this pop-up window onto your card website. So instead of sending them to a different checkout page, they stay on your website and it's like a pop-up checkout process when you use the Gumroad widget. And the final widget is called Typeform. Now, this Typeform is a, a form that is really interactive and I've used this multiple times. And basically what it says here is you open a Typeform or you can embed it using an iframe. So you can put a form on to your website, embed it here using the widgets um, very simply by following these steps here. And if we go to the Typeform website, it's kind of showing you what this looks like. Their idea here is that you're going to get more data like signups, feedback, and anything else with forms to designed to be refreshingly different. And the form process when you actually fill it out is very satisfying. And it is, again, you can put this as a pop-up on your website instead of just having them go to a different URL to then go on a form. And if we scroll down here, um, these are the types of things that we can do. You can do things like marketing for your signups, branding, customer feedback, and then you can use Zapier or Typeforms embeds to then add people to your email list. So I've used it in the past where I wanted to segment people, where I said, okay, if you're this type of person, then you're gonna join this list. If you answer these questions, then you're gonna join a different email list. 
and it just takes them through a little bit of a path before they actually enter their email address. But you can use it for things like if you have an affiliate program, you can have affiliates go through a form first, which is going to be really good instead of just one big form on a page. You can use it to get customer feedback based on what your blog post is like or what your product is like. If you go to the template page, you can just see the different types of forms available. So you can do things like quizzes as well. So you can create a quiz through a form for something interactive after someone reads a blog post. And at the end of the quiz, you can say, would you like to get more tips on this? Then sign up to my email newsletter. So those are the different widgets that we can use in card. Now you will need the pro plan in order to do this, but most people are going to need this anyway to get their custom domain name and some of the other premium features. So like I mentioned before, if you want to learn more about the card platform, then check out our playlist in the description and then go to nocode.mba to check out our website. There's a couple of things you can do here. First, you can go to the blog, the library and check out our free resources the different blog posts that we've created and interviews with no code success stories. And then also check out our course. We have over 4,000 successful students at the time of recording and there's 60 plus create courses and projects teaching you to build apps, websites, automations, and more. And we like to do this in a way where we actually build something tangible and you can go through this to build some something tangible as you're taking the course. So again, the website for that is nocode.mba. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and share it. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.